Yo, it's Cooking Good Looking to the Solo Entertainment TV, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm going to be doing kind of an informational video. Uh, I was asked a question in the comment section by uh, this guy right here. I will put it up on the screen. Um, asking me if I could kind of do a breakdown on the six best transferable uh, implants for like power grinding um and whatnot and i told him i would have it up in a couple of days but unfortunately i had to ship it to the side because obviously as you can see i was busy getting 325 which took me a long ass time so i went through and i basically picked out my favorites none of these count of course all of these don't count they are non-transferable otherwise i would have added some of these because some of them are very good um obviously i think all of these here are just meant to be slightly worse versions than what we have here um because you know they they wanted to give everybody a chance to actually be able to buy uh like these particular and they're not much worse so like i'm pretty sure this mastery implant is supposed to be this genius implant which you lose uh one percent um one percent exp 11 percent damage inflicted versus uh 10 percent damage like this one's actually a little bit better um than this destruction implant right here uh but keep in mind i mean it is a little worse than uh something you could have like this amber implant and we'll get into that um so i basically went through all of these and i picked out which one whichever ones i thought were the best transferable ones um and i broke them down into a couple of different categories um just to kind of give as much information as possible because i i included all these ones up here even though they're not necessarily the best for power grinding i just wanted to make sure i had all bases covered depending on what kind of player you are and what your bank account is looking like um in dead frontier which as you can see i mean mine is mine is hurting boys i i am not doing that hot right now um so i have everything written down in here excuse me norton please um i went uh, i went about doing uh some of the most expensive implants you could buy um that were the best of course being uh, MOTL implants, destruction implants, genius implants. I didn't go for movement speed. So I, I went specifically for power grinding. Um, you Movement speed does not help you grind. Uh, obviously, it helps you not get hit. But it doesn't necessarily help you get XP any quicker or do any better. You could just not get hit. Which, uh, once you guys watch my work to 325, you will see I am very bad at that. Um, if you watch my Road to 325, if you do, especially if you watch the whole video, shout out to you. Um, I got a lot more of those coming because I got a bunch of them uh, just in backstop. Um, so obviously I went through and I got the most expensive ones. I broke them down by price, um, how much the, each individual one costs, how much they cost in total if you were to have the ones that I recommended. Um, and then what kind of stats they give you. And then obviously I went with the uh, slightly more cheaper version. Cheaper, more affordable um, in these kind of ones here. Because honestly, they don't get much cheaper than these ones here. Um, and none of these down here will you find for below 30 million. Honestly, like like these. Uh, except maybe this one. I didn't really look at, but obviously nobody's going to use that for fucking grinding. But like this stuff here. The stuff that you would actually use for grinding these dark pumpkin implants the golden rabbit implants you're not going to get any of these for below 30 million um so sorry about that uh and you can kind of take into account uh you know if you want to take this chart as uh or whatnot it's not a chart just this 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 little notepad here of what i've, I've uh, obtained and kind of mix it up on your own bout um You know what? Uh, give me one second. I'm going to pause the video and I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to list out all of the um, important percentages that all of those things give you. Because I did like the total stats, but I didn't do it for each one. So give me one second. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to um, add the stats that each one of these gives you. All right. So we are back. Um, I just got done, obviously, uh, adding... The stats that these give you on the side, uh, this is kind of the breakdown for the best ones I personally believe uh, that you can have. 
uh, for power grinding. Again, power grinding, you're not worried about... Uh, these aren't the best implants that I personally find just in general for the game. But for power grinding, you're not going to be worried about uh, ammo loot find chance or really you shouldn't even really be that worried about movement speed or anything like that. Um, you just need to make sure that you're doing as much damage as possible uh, and, and gaining as much extra experience as possible. The more damage you do and the more EXP gain that you have, obviously the more um, EXP you will get over a shorter duration of time. So we have the, let me just shorten this down just a little bit maybe i open them up just a little bit so you can see it i just open it up just a little bit so you can see the whole thing i'll put it off here on the side uh we have the destruction implant which is going to be right here so the destruction implant which is 48 million dollars currently on the market it is giving you 10 percent uh damage inflicted um, on top of that, we have the Genius Implant. Mm, a little bit more pricey, but just by a little bit, you know, over 200%. Um, at $110 million on the marketplace, giving you 15% EXP gain. Um, the Data Implant, which we scroll down for just a little bit. Uh, 47.85 million on the marketplace. Uh, giving you 12% EXP, 1% damage inflicted, 1% movement speed. I didn't add the damage reduction. It's not really important. Um, I just added the movement speed from these other ones because they're on there. And like, if you have an if you have an implant with movement speed and the EXP and the damage gain, then that's that's even better. But you want to really focus on that damage and EXP gain. Um, then we have the the Havoc implant right underneath it, uh, giving you uh, it's about 95 million guys, 95 million. Uh, for the Havoc Implant, which is a little pricey for what it gives. I'm just saying, 4% uh, EXP gain, as well as 7% damage inflicted. Um, the Golden Rabbit Implant, which we will scroll down for just a little bit further here. The only really important thing that this gives you uh, in terms of grinding, at $163 million on the marketplace, guys, uh, it is giving you 15% EXP gain. Now, that's a lot of EXP gain, so I don't know, man. I mean, the data implant, obviously, you can only equip one of those. Uh, but, I mean, if you don't have $163 million to spare, the data implant is pretty much right up there um, at, at 12%. I mean, you're missing 3%, guys. That's For the for the money you're saving, you're saving over $100 million. Um, so, if you have to choose between one or the other, or even from the genius implant the 1% damage inflicted and the 1% movement speed. I mean, I would go with the the uh, data implant, to be honest. And then you have the MOTL implant. It's been around for a while. Um, it is still 95 million on the marketplace. Uh, that's rough. Um, giving you, uh, let me, sorry, let me find it. Let me do the thing that we've been doing this whole time. Uh, giving you 5% EXP gain, damage inflicted, and movement speed totaling $558,850,000 on the marketplace. Now, if you have that much money, uh, congratulations. You're doing a lot better than most of us. Um, I doubt you do, though. So let's let's just go look at the top richest people in the game. Let's just let's just bear with me for a second. Right? I'm, I'm derailing, but let's just look at the top richest people. OK, if you had five hundred and fifty some you'd be in like 42nd place brother uh with this much money or actually you'd be in like 40th place as the top richest person in the game so if uh if you're one of these people congratulations you're doing a lot better than the rest of us bums um now in total that would give you 23 percent damage inflicted 51% EXP gain and 6% movement speed. I also I put in a little a little quirk down here at the bottom. I said that if the MOTL implant is removed in favor for the amber implant, the amber implant of course being this one down here, which gives you 12% damage inflicted, uh an extra 7% damage would be awarded, but 5% EXP and movement speed would be lost. Um so if you're 
7% damage versus 5% EXP. I personally would go for the damage. Obviously, the more damage you're doing, everything gives you everything gives you experience based on HP points. So the more damage that you can do, if let's say in the wasteland everything gives you 1.875 EXP points per uh, EXP points per health point, if you can do two. I'll just say, I'll just use this as an example. Obviously, you're not doing one damage, but if you do one damage and you're getting, we'll just say two experience points, if you add 5% on top of that, it's not going to do that much. However, if you're doing two damage, if you can get, uh, which you won't be getting 100% damage inflicted, but if you could get that, or if you could get the extra 25%, uh, 25% of, of two is, is what, 50 yeah, that's an extra 0.5 uh, EXP per HP point. Um, so, if you would much rather get the Amber Implant, which I didn't actually add the price on here because obviously I didn't add it to uh, the thing, but the Amber Implant is only 50 million. So, you'd be saving uh, $45 million. However, you would be losing out on the EXP and the movement speed, which again... You don't really need the movement speed if you're good and you, you don't get hit a lot, which I am not. Um, and of course, those total stats in such case would be a damage inflicted of 30%, an EXP gain of 46%, and a movement speed of 1%. Of course, we get that movement speed from the, uh, the data implant up there. Now, I also went and I made an affordable version. Now, as you can see, there are not six implants down here. Because there are only four, in my opinion, somewhat affordable implants in the game um, that are that would be good for uh, power grinding if they were the only ones you would be able to get your hands on. Um, that being the Perception Implant, Violence Implant, X Perception Implant, and X Violence Implant. Uh, perception Implant costing two and a quarter uh, million. Uh, the Violence Implant, 3.2 million. X Perception Implant, 7.3 million, and X Violence Implant at nearly 9 million. So there's a there's a there's a large discrepancy between the X Perception and X Violence Implant. Um, sometimes it's just better to go with damage, my boys. Um, now the total stats. I don't know why the fuck they're. I don't know why it's down here so far, but. <laughs> Let's just, let's just do what, let, let's make it look better. Let's make it look better. Okay. So the total stats on, uh, the total, actually the total price on that for all four of them would be 21 million, 680, well, about $690,000, um, with a total stat price of, now I actually have to add a little, I have to add a little thing here because if you're talking, uh, 21 million, Sorry, 689,999. And if you add, we're going to have to bring out the calculator here, boys, because I can do relatively good math in my head, but not this kind of math, not these larger numbers. It's just too damn much, honestly. I don't have time for it. Uh, and then you add another 8940 plus 730000. So it's actually. Uh, well, hold on. If you do, I'm not even going to add uh, all that together. I'm just going to put it down here. So this is how much it would cost if you were to do what I did to get these total stats right here. Because I actually, what I had to do, because there's not, again, there's not six affordable implants for power grinding. Um... So I had to add an extra X perception implant and X violence implant. So you're actually getting, sorry, excuse me, with the total stats I have down here and the price that's up there at 37 million, um, you're getting two X perception implants and two X violence implants, and then one perception and one violence implant totaling 10% damage inflicted uh, and 10% EXP gain. Now, mind you, these this is not the, what I think some of the best um, implants in the game are in just in general. Um, this the Golden Rabbit implant's a very good implant. Um, I'm a I'm a looter baby, 
So the jack of all implant, I like that. The looter implant, I like that. Um, uh, and a lot of these up here, that like this prosperity implant, that's a good one. Um, obviously cannot be used with the looter implant. So if you already have the prosperity implant, um, you can't use the looter implant, which kind of sucks donkey's cock. But, you know, and, you know, it is what it is. Um, if you can get your hands on a golden rabbit implant, though, that's a that's a good one, dude. The, the extra, not only just the 50% EXP gain, but this stuff on top of it, the, that's a good one. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the best bit. And you can kind of, you know, if you want to take a minute and screen cap this, um, if my information is valuable to you at all, and you just haven't made a decision, um, if you want to screen cap this and kind of like pick and choose and like, oh, well, maybe I'll, you know, I can't quite afford a golden rabbit implant. So maybe I'll do two X perception implants on top, you know, two X perceptions in its place. Uh, it won't be 15 EXP uh, game, but, you know, it would be a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, but like I said, if you got dough, first of all, number one, hit me up because I'm tired of fucking being broke in this game. <laughs> number two, if you got money, man, you can afford some of those, uh, some of those implants. And like I said, unfortunately, in terms of the affordable implants, this is where... While I was making this video, I realized that this had opened up my eyes to the issue in the implant market right now. It's not these fucking things. Not not these these limited edition, you'll never get them again unless you buy them fucking from the marketplace and they cost a fuck ton and this and that. This is not the solution to it. This is all well and fine. This is this is good. Yeah, I have a bunch of these and all that, blah, blah, blah. But the real issue is, is there's no affordable implants that give any decent, uh, not only grinding power, but looting power, too, realistically. I mean, this is only 10%. And, I mean, like, I get... You don't have a limit on these. You could, if you want to do ten of these, shit, you can, and you'll you'll have a hundred percent, um, hundred percent fine weapon and ammo and and uh, armor and all that shit. But like this this four percent exp game down here, he's not doing that great. You know, you got to add some other ones to this more affordable market. Where maybe instead of 4% damage inflicted, now we're talking 6 or 7% damage inflicted. And the price goes from, you know, $9 million to maybe $17 million, something like Because even $17 million is still much more affordable than the $50 million that we have up there. Practically $50 million for some of the cheapest ones um, that are up there. I don't know. Maybe they need to make some more affordable implants. Um that you could use for gr both grinding and kind of like looting. Uh, I didn't add this one because it's obviously non-transferable. Um, and then I didn't even bother. Let's be honest, guys. I didn't even fucking bother adding these. But they, they give you uh, 1%. Yeah, I, I didn't even bother adding these. Um, and then obviously, I didn't add any of these ones down here. These are all non-transferable. Um, even though there are some good ones down here, if you can get them, um, the 6% EXP gain with the movement speed, 10% um, EXP gain, even though I don't think you can get that because, you know, you know, um, these were a fail, I guess, because they, they haven't done these ever again, the damage inflicted, but the minus on the, on the movement speeds and stuff, um, yeah that's that's about it guys that's pretty much as good as it gets uh that i can think of if you have the money and you're looking for transferable implants i would go with what's up here if you don't if you don't quite have that much money um and you're looking for a more affordable implants i would check this out i, I mean like you're talking six implants and it's still cheaper than one of these up here um so you know it sometimes you know if, if you 
it's going to take up six more slots than that up there but you know you got to do what you got to do sometimes um if you're again if you're looking for more affordable implants though uh it would be these ones down here feel free to screen cap this if you want um it kind of makes it a little bit easier to kind of go through and look through all this than having to like constantly scroll up and down this thing and like compare and do this and do that and uh, I obviously I already have the prices right on there so you don't even have to go back to the marketplace back and forth and back and forth in order to get it you know in order to see how much it would cost um yeah so everything's on here uh if you want to screen cap it and kind of use that to build your implant army uh then go ahead and do that and actually as a matter of fact I gotta build I gotta get some some decent implants too because uh, your boy's 325 now, and I got two open slots. Technically, three open slots because shout out to Brandon. He allowed me to borrow this uh, this amber implant. This amber implant is not mine, and I do plan on getting rid of these implants at some point if I can, because I know that like there's a lot of implants I can't really add because I already have these ones. But I'm sure they'll drop new implants in the future. So, um, yeah. With all that being said, I'll leave this up on the screen for now and just kind of go back here. I'll leave this up on the screen. With all that being said, I hope this helped you. Uh, I don't actually... Uh, give me one second. Okay, that's not embarrassing at all. Uh, I hope this helped you, Ryan. Um, I better not have gotten that wrong after just looking at it. I mean, I'm not saying I just looked at it, but I'm just saying I'm look I just looked at it. Um, I hope this helped you. I hope this helped anybody who is trying to figure out what the best implants that they can afford are excuse me, for grinding, um, everything you saw in this one video, um, and with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed it, the like button, subscribe button, share button, definitely leave a comment down below, letting me know what you thought of the video, and what you want to see next, and definitely be sure to go down and turn on post notifications, so we can notified every time I upload a video, because you're going to want to miss what is next, thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you in the next one, I'm gonna, if for anybody who makes it this far into the video, like, right to the end, I'm gonna apologize right now, for all of the road to 325 that's getting ready to come down the pipeline because i went from right now i have um i got 270 to 275 up 275 to 325 brother that's uh 50 more levels that's 10 more videos so sorry <laughs>